Okay, so now we're just across the road from Broomhill Test Centre in Tala, and we're going to be making our way out of the test centre, out of the car park. You'll be turning to your left as you come out of the test centre itself. As we're parked opposite, we'll be turning to the right. So we'll just back up here. Remember not to block up the car park. Leave the car park free for examiners. Okay, so here we go. Bit of a long route this one. But there's nothing too technically challenging on it, so I wouldn't stress about it. Okay, so we're turning right, so once again you'll be turning left out of the car park. So away we go now. So speed limit's 50 kilometers per hour. Test centre just on the left. Remember you'll turn left out of the test centre. Bit of a bend here. Nice and slow. Second gear. Be aware of the parked vehicles. So middle right mirror signal right. Move out to a car door width. Keep monitoring the traffic coming against. If necessary, you can be the one to pull in out of the way if required because the obstructions are on your side. So we're moving in. Now we have more obstructions. So it's mirrors and signal to the right again. And we're going to stay back a couple of car lengths here. And then we're going to move around. And again, we've got more vehicles coming. So we're going to pull it again. We're not going to signal right here because there's a road just opposite us. So we don't want to be seen to be giving a false signal. And at the end of the road now, we're going to turn right. So we're turning right from Broomhill Road onto Ayrton Road. Centimeter as you're slowing. Yield marking here. Looking both ways equally. Keep looking whilst turning. And now we're on Ayrton Road. Speed limit of 50 kilometers per hour. Keeping our distance from the parked cars, allowing enough room for a car door to open. So we're gonna slow off here. Let this person come out, and then we're going to continue. And then into fourth, centimeter when you change gear, otherwise centimeter roughly every 10 to 15 seconds and before you brake, which is very important. Now at the traffic lights, we're going to go left, so it's main mirror, left mirror, signal to the left, move our car in nice and tight to the curb. Now this traffic light has a st standard set of lights with a filter light on the left hand side. So if the filter light comes on you may turn left only. If the full green light comes on you can turn left or right. Or straight. Full green light means proceed with caution to everybody. So remember now when you're going to be pulling away you're going to be checking your three mirrors and you're going to be checking your junction both sides. waiting patiently. We'll go into first gear because we're first in queue. Just watching the light. Being mindful of cyclists potentially coming up your left hand side also. Okay, filter lights on, so three mirrors from left to right. Quick check of the junction. And now at the roundabout we're taking the right hand exit. So we move into the right hand lane, so middle right mirror signal right, check your blind spot. So it's the second exit to the right. So main mirror right mirror signal right. Back to two on the approach, looking calmly. Staying on the lane closest to the centre of the roundabout. Now indicating left now, so main mirror left mirror signal left. Okay, so we're left off the roundabout. Now, at the next roundabout, we're going to take the second exit, which is straight ahead. So we stay to the left-hand side, glancing to the right. And we're stopping because there's a car coming around. Quick looks both ways. Stay on the left lane. Signal left just after you pass the first exit. Remember, it's mirrors, then signal. Now, we're making our way down towards the entrance of Tala Hospital here now. So, Belgard Square North. Again, remember, centimeter roughly every 10 to 15 seconds. Another roundabout coming ahead, and once again, we're taking the second exit, which is straight through again. So, staying on the left lane. 
checking the roundabout. No signal required as we're entering because we're going second exit straight. Stopping again because of the car coming. Staying on the left lane. Mirrors and signal left as you pass the first one. And now we're going to take a left at the traffic lights. We're on Cookstown Way now. So main mirror, left mirror, signal to the left. Again, we have traffic lights with a filter light to the left. So either the filter light or the full green is perfectly acceptable. Now we're going to stay in first gear seeing as we're first in queue. Now filter lights on, three mirrors. Check our junction, we're crossing the Lewis tracks now. Nice and tight on the turn. Building our speed calmly. Now you want to stay on the right hand lane here. Just to proceed straight. Now red light, so centre mirror before you brake. Slowing. And clutching just at the end. Handbrake applied and into first gear as soon as we're first in queue. Now, three mirrors moving off again. Quick check of the junction. Once again, we can stay to the right hand lane as we approach these lights. Center mirror when slowing. Now we're making our way down to the Tala Bypass at the moment. Lights green, three mirrors moving off, checking our junction, and we're turning right onto the Tala Bypass. So main mirror, right mirror, signal right. Looking on the approach, both sides, and ending up on the left hand lane. And then we're turning right at the next set of lights. So now we change lanes. So main mirror, right mirror, signal right. Check our blind spot. Okay, so we're turning right towards Springfield now. Still on the Tala Bypass. <laughs> Centre mirror when slowing. <coughs> Excuse me. Handbrake and first gear because we're first in queue. At the moment we have a green arrow and now the right arrow has come on as well. So three mirrors from left to right. Look across into your turn and turn at a right angle into your road. Now we're going to turn left now, main mirror, left mirror. Into Springfield, nice and calmly through here. And Alderwood Park. Now we're going to hold back here now. We're not going to signal because there's a road directly opposite us on our right hand side so we don't want to give a contradictory signal. So we'll just stay back a couple of car lengths. Now we can make our way around. If it gets a little bit, a bit tight, do not worry, just hold back from the parked cars and keep yourself out of trouble. Again, we're going to hold back here. Now we will indicate this time because we're not, there's no turn opposite and we're crossing the centre of the road. And then we're turning left, so main mirror left, mirror signal left, onto Alderwood Way. So a few little turns around here now. And then we're turning right, so main mirror, right mirror, signal right, onto Alderwood Avenue. Now this is a stop sign, and there's a white line provided, so we stop fully at the white line. Car coming from the right, he's turning in, and now we can continue. Straight out, and then turn Alderwood Avenue. Now there's room within the road now for us to move around this van, so we're allowing enough room for a car door to open. Still on Alderwood Avenue. Then take your position back in close to the left. Second gear over these ramps. And now we're coming to a mini roundabout and we're taking the first exit to the left. So main mirror, left mirror, signal to the left. Glancing on the approach, keeping tight to the left curve. Coming off Alderwood Avenue onto Maplewood Road. Again, car door width between yourself and the parked cars. Now these ramps, we do them in second gear. Now if they're quite close together, it's fine to stay in second between them. But if there's a generous gap, you should really try and go up to third gear. 
now building our speed here with plenty of time to use third and then centimeter and back down to second still on Maplewood Road positioning our car nicely towards the left at all times and then back to second for the ramp again and now we're going to take the next right along here now just watch the way the curb sticks out on the left so main mirror right mirror single right look across into the turn turn at a 90 degree angle and we're now on Cookstown Road building our speed nicely up to 50 kilometers per hour remember the center mirror when you change gear or alternatively every 10 to 15 seconds Just maintaining our speed all the time viewing the road well ahead looking out for potential hazards now he's pulled across so we'll slow it down and come back to three School children sign on our left hand side. So be aware for children. Maintaining our speed at 50 kilometers per hour. Positioning our car nicely to the left. Okay, so we have advance warning of roadworks ahead. So we're just going to ease off, and this comes into a slight bend as well. So we're just going to come back to third. We're also going to be crossing the Lewis track here now. So we're going to watch our traffic lights, make certain it's clear. Change of direction arrow to tell us to, to, to keep to the right. And then as we come around this bend, then we see traffic lights and we're going to turn left at them. So main mirror, left mirror, signal left, all the way over to the left lane. Into second approach in the turn, flashing amber arrow, which means yield. So take quick glances, keep tight positioning, and then drive through. Still on Cookstown Road. Building our speed nicely. Into fourth gear, maintain your speed. Positioning again nicely to the left. Now we're going to take the next right. So main mirror, right mirror. Signal is on. Position close to the center. Into second gear on approach. Looking ahead and into the turn. Ahead and into the turn. And then we've got an immediate left turn now. So mirror and signal left. Keep looking. Uh, we're going to hold here because there was cars coming from our left side passing the parked cars. So look right again and we're now on the Oaks and Bellegarde Heights. And then we're going to turn right, so main mirror right, mirror signal right, positioning towards the centre. Line up the turn and turn. We're still on the Oaks and we're going to turn right again, so main mirror right, mirror signal right. Position, this is a stop sign, this person's cut the corner so we hold back up to the line, stop fully, and then we're going to pull out, keep looking. Now we have a couple of corners here that they can reverse around. We see a vehicle already reversing around this one, so we're just going to move around and pass them. And then we're going to pull in on the left and stop just after the next road on the left hand side. And this is where we're going to reverse around the corner from this road into the Crescent and Bellegarde Heights. It's a lighthouse look, and then we're going to start the maneuver. We get to the point where we're going to start to turn in, and then we stop and we check and then we look behind and then back to the mirror and we keep moving calmly and then look to the right again
and look to the right again. And then back in a straight line with the curve. Okay, so now we just completed our reverse around the corner in the, into the Crescent on Bellegarde Heights. So we're going to move off, so we're going to go into gear. Look in our mirrors from left to right. Signal is on. Check our blind spot. And there's a stop sign here now, so we're going to move up. Indicator back on if the signal cancels. We're going to stop fully. And then we're going to continue. Now nice and gently over the ramps. And we'll proceed. Car door width to the parked cars. Again, nice and gently over the ramp. And now we're turning right up here. So main mirror, right mirror, signal to the right. <coughs> Coming off the rise onto the meadows to east. And just down this cul-de-sac straight ahead of us is another place where they do our turnabout. going to go on down and we're just going to pull in beside the curb along here now and we're going to stop here now so we're going to do our turnabout here now on the meadows east okay so we look in our mirrors we signal check our blind spot and move slowly but turn quickly. Stop just before the curve. To reverse, looking up and down as you're doing that. Then through the back. Keep looking. Car, car on our left, so we're just going to take our time. Look left and right. The car is stationary, so we just wait. We just carry on as long as they're waiting. And then indicate left. And then we stop fully. Okay, so now we've just completed our turnabout on the meadows east. And we're going to move away again. Now you may have done your hand signals at this point as well. Now, so we're going to move off. So you go into gear. Check our mirrors from left to right. Signal. Check our blind spot. And then we're going to take a right up here then. So main mirror, right mirror. The signal to the right, turning on to the heath and Bellegarde Heights, nice and gently over the ramp, building our speed, centimeter when slowing at all times. away from the parked cars, allowing enough room for a car door to open. And we're going to go left, so main mirror, left mirror. Now it's a stop sign, so stop fully, keeping close to the left. Turning onto the view in Belgard Heights, and then we're turning right, so main mirror, right mirror. And then we're turning right again. So main mirror, right mirror, signal right. Now onto the old Bellegarde Road we're going next. And then we're turning left at the lights, so main mirror, left mirror. So on the old Bellegarde Road. Back to second approaching, keep an eye on the light. Look to the right, check the traffic. And then we're turning right, so main mirror, right mirror, signal to the right. We're turning back onto the Bellegarde Road, looking as you're entering the junction, ending up on the left lane, conscious of the cycle lane on our left hand side, building our speed, and again centimeter before you brake.
make certain to see the wheels of the vehicle in front touching the road when you're stopped. Okay, the light has just gone green, so we're not going to apply our handbrake here. Three mirrors from left to right. Keeping back from the vehicle in front. Only a full brakes the two second rule. Checking the junction. Still on the Belgard Road. And now we're approaching Ayrton Road. We're going to turn left at the light, so main mirror, left mirror. Signal to the left. Centre mirror as you're slowing. Handbrake and neutral. If you're not first in queue, you go to neutral. If you're going to be stopped for more than a couple of seconds, pull the handbrake up. Now the cars in front are creeping forward, but we're not going to creep very much because there's no point unless we can benefit by gaining two or three car lengths. So now the traffic are moving. Three mirrors from left to right. Okay, we have a filter arrow for left turn and a filter arrow for straight, so we're fine to turn left. We're just going to have a check of our junction. Keeping an eye for cyclists as well on the left side mirror. And now we're back onto Ayrton Road. We're nearly back at the test centre now. Normal position to drive is close to the left, so just hold that position. 50 kilometres per hour along here now. Again, just keep your distance from the vehicle in front. Taking the next left now, so main mirror, left mirror, signal left. Pass the parked car and assume tight position to the left side. Keep it nice and tight on the turn. Looking into the turn as well to make certain that it's clear for you to drive forward. Conscious of traffic that may be moving up past the parked vehicles on our right hand side. Now we're coming back towards the test centre now, we've got to go around this bend to the right just before the test centre. Now the test centre is just on the right hand side here, number 52. You turn right and then left into the parking spaces. We're not going to go in to cause obstruction to people, so we'll just turn left here now. Main mirror, left mirror, signal left. A nice tight position. I'm trying to turn this to the left now into a parking spot. And here we are now parked opposite the test centre now in Tala. And that is the end of your route.